Dr. Gerospina, functionalanatomyseminars.com. I have a case here uh, of an athlete who um, has had his ACL reconstructed uh, for the second time uh, in March, yeah, March 23rd. Um, so the, uh, the range of motion is, is almost full. Uh, the only problem he's having is he's feeling uh, a lot of tension and tightness around the scarring. So um, follow up to my, I think a few blog posts ago I talked about um, the research demonstrating that when you uh, twist acupuncture needles, or acupuncture needles um, the uh, connective tissue actually coils itself around or the fascia coils itself around the needle. So if you just zoom in on here, one technique that we use for scar mobilization um, in addition to the functional range release is uh, myofascial needling. So what I've done is I've, I've inserted the needles and I've kind of uh, inserted them in and around the scar tissue. Now you'll see here if I twist the needle and coil the tissue um, around it, now I can't really twist the needle anymore. And now if I use that needle to tug on the uh, tissue, you see that the scar uh, becomes mobilized. So what I will do is twist the needle and then tug and then do such so in various uh, areas around the scar and if you hold that pressure uh, you're going to allow for the intercellular signaling uh, which will uh, bring about cytoscellular cellular changes um, sorry cytoskeleton changes um, as per uh, Langevin's article that I posted a few uh, days ago uh, so you just do this all around uh, the scar itself. If you want, you can add some electro uh, acupuncture, uh, the electrodes, in order to um, cause a little bit of pulsing, which once again will help to free up the scar tissue.